This episode is all about the next stage for the chicken coop. The floor, finish the insulation, develop the roost so it makes sense because there, there was a line that came in here of just taking it down and all the birds are on the top layer and they're like, they got this much room, which is kind of okay in winter, but they're getting bigger so one's gonna fall off eventually. So gonna keep the fat ladies happy by extending this and then putting in a laying box uh, because they're actually, I've got four eggs in the last three days. They're starting to lay, it's so exciting. And they're teeny tiny, we'll show you later. <laughs> oh man, shot that in good. <laughs> I think there's a screw in there. Oops, didn't want to do that. Right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, Crystal Palace. Being a hooligan when I was a bit younger, it's finally paid off. <laughs> Not very good hooligan. I'm gonna get this. Uh, uh, doesn't smell like Marmite. God. Ugh, filthy critters. Hey. Nope. The uh, compost heap we made in the, the compost episode is now full, so this is a second one. Doesn't take long to fill them up with the chickens but it's right next to the beds. It's gonna be fantastic in a year or next spring. I put a lot of scraps in here, uh, the ones I don't give to the chickens. So that's why it's pretty empty because the chickens eat absolutely everything. But there's uh, some tomatoes, really old tomatoes in here. I want some of that acid in there as well, just to, you know, maybe the microbes like it. I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, yeah, the other one was lower. Ah, design floor. go. Number two of number two coming up. In the summer we can leave the leave the litter quite thin. In the winter we can just keep piling the litter on top of itself so you end up with like six inches of litter in there, that's fine. If it gets a bit too mooshy then you can always take the top layer off. Maybe it's dirty under where they're roosting though. I had to take the old tarp up because there's a vapour barrier underneath the building. If I put a plastic surface on top of another plastic surface then I've created a vapour lock and that means that I'm going to get mould in my subfloor structure which is eventually steaming up which is eventually going to create mould in here and the whole floor will have to be taken apart so uh, that's why I'm not doing that. I'm going to add, I've, got, I've managed to scrounge up two sheets of 4x8 plywood that's not enough to do the entire floor it's enough to stabilize what's here because this is really, really bouncy stuff and I want to just make the building a little firmer. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to wash down the walls with some disinfectant um, and then there's the insulation and then I've got to get the windows in um, which are still out in the universe. They have not arrived. Um, I'm thinking of going with storm windows I can just prop open and I can leave this wire here because this we know is predator proof. It's also excellent ventilation. So uh, just single pane, one window, single pane. So if anyone out there wants to donate some, we're looking at 39 inches wide by 40 inches deep. Um, but I'll probably find some at a restore or something. I have faith. Come down here. So this is the wire, the predator proofing. Nothing's coming up through here. There's plywood underneath. Now there's plywood, plywood on top. So sandwiched predator protection. Um, and it's a good idea because if you have a close up over here, 
you can see how all the poop and all the sawdust stays trapped underneath this wire. It's exterior grade plywood, so it will it shouldn't ever rot. There's not enough water in here for it to rot. So this will provide excellent stability and it won't be so bouncy on the floor and it will be easier to clean with the uh, snow shovel. for a chicken. For 20 hens you need about three to four boxes. They generally will lay anywhere anywhere they want anyway but they'll take it in turns like they'll probably end up using one box or but I'll put probably four in here and mount a couple above here with a 45 degree angle on the roof so they can't perch on it and then temporarily for tonight and these are temporary as well we ran out of time today so here the roost is just temporary we've put a longer bar up so that they can all get on the on the same bar because they all like to be on the same bar the floor is really solid I'm really happy with that and then there's more things to do, there's always more things to do, but for this episode we kind of, uh, for this part of the build anyway, we've kind of run out of time. Huh, the guests at the window. So that's where we are. Today is a very exciting day. This is my eyebrow looking excited. Anyway, today is a very exciting day and this is the reason why I'm so excited. For the last three days, my ladies have been doing their bit. We've had three one day, one another day, and this one about 40 minutes ago while we're building the coop. Um, and you notice that they're covered with what's called a bloom. This bloom will preserve the egg for up to three months. You don't, I wouldn't leave it that long, but three months yet, you don't need to put them in the fridge. You, if, as soon as you wash them, you have to eat them, but if you leave that bloom on there, then you don't need to uh, preserve them. The, the bloom actually stops the oxygen going through the, the shell and spoiling the egg. So don't wash chicken eggs is the rule. And these are free range organic eggs and there's gonna be lots of happy neighbors around here because my idea is to give them to as many families as I can. And in a month's time, I'll be inundated with eggs and we'll have lots of recipes about eggs. Speaking of which, I think we should try one of these. Apparently I screwed up the beauty shot, Simon's a little bit miffed, so he's not gonna try the egg. I am. This egg we've worked out costs approximately $4,200. So <laughs> my first egg is $4,200. Let's see what it tastes like. No salt, no pepper. Look at the color of that egg. Look at the color of that egg. Mmm, it's really delicious and I'm really surprised it doesn't taste like tomatoes because it's all the chickens have been eating. Mmm, mmm, oh yeah, yeah, mmm, pretty good for a first egg. Jelly, we're in luck pal. Mmm, the jelly some. Is that jelly approved? I think that's jelly approved. Good boy. It's a pleasure.